Hello and welcome. This is Pastor Alan Arcor. I'm here from the First Centennial Missionary Baptist Church in Buffalo, New York. I just wanted to share with you how we've had a wonderful year. It's a great season of Bible study here at the temple and we've been blessed all year. However, for the month of July, we're going to be taking somewhat of a sabbatical whereby I will be your main host each Wednesday and I'll be sharing things with you about mental health. Something that the church, I believe, needs to speak more of and give more resources of how God is in including you uh, in his plan for healing and for uh, deliverance. And then again, for sustaining your life. Sometimes when you go through things in this life, you can be so overwhelmed, bombarded, and sometimes in a way of depression, it sets in because it seems like you have no one to talk to. But in this month, we're going to be talking about things like the righteous cry, the righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all of their troubles. When's the last time you were able to come to church and really have a word that was tailored to assist you when you were crying? And I don't just mean crying with your lacrimals and crying with water tears, but sometimes your soul, your emotions is crying out, trying to peel out of those things that you've been put into because it seems like there's so much you've been pounded with, compounded with, uh, suppressed with, overwhelmed with, overtaken by. And so we're gonna this month deal with some real issues. So hopefully you'll be able to tune in and really see how does my life fit with this Jesus, this 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 God, this this religious, this 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 type of worship, and you know we could always get into the things that that, that are exterior, but this month we're going to talk about the internal person. So Psalm 34, verses 17 through 20, uh, talks about a, a man named David who went through a lot of turmoil. And we always talk about David the king. Uh, we talk about David slaying uh, the Goliath, but there were a lot of things that David had to deal with interpersonally that nobody knew about but David and God. He couldn't talk to his dad a lot because his father had love for the other sons. Couldn't go to his mom because his mom was cuddling him and trying to make sure he was in position to be the king that God called him to be. Couldn't even talk sometimes to men because they would get angry at the fact that he was uh, overwhelmed by some of the things that placated his life. So he a lot of times would go to God and say, now God, I need your help, I need your strength. And you know one thing about God, I want to share with you in this season of uh, the month of July, I want to make him more personal so you don't have to always think that you're crying out and God is like out in orbit in the galaxies and he'll come to you in four weeks or he's coming like Santa after you've been good. No, when you cry out to God, immediately God starts downloading on you his love, his protection, his peace, and above all, his anointing, which covers you in areas my goodness, all those cracks and scratches and things that we go through. And we get them because of life lifing us. Also, I want to share with you in the book of 2 Timothy, we look at 2 Timothy 1 and 7. It says, for God hath not given us the spirit of fear. That means we were, we were not created to be fearful. We were created to reverence and to respect, but not to become low in spirit and timid and not wanting to trample over things and be triumphant. We were, we, were, we were better than the animal kingdom. The lion is not the only one that can roar and things happen. God's given us an innate ability to be able to think, to process, to walk, to make things happen. So I want to talk about, he didn't give you the spirit of fear. I want you to go after the things that you really want to go after, but because you got so much on your mind and you got so much you got to peel out of, you can't even get to that because... Your day is overwhelmed with the cares of life. Listen to what he said. He said, but he gave us the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. I'm telling you, God's going to really get us together in July. And I hope you stay tuned because the better part of you is going to come out. And before the year even ends, don't wait till next December where you make another resolution about I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. We're going to be able to walk in the park better now, go have our jobs and achieve Go to church and really have an open heart to God to receive and to also get. My goodness. And we're going to be able to be good with our families, our relations. So come on, tune in. I believe this is going to be awesome for us. And we're going to do it from the church perspective and finally get down to business and let you know church is more than hand clapping, tongue talking, 
and foot stomping, but it's also a place to build you, to reassure you, and to make you whole. Come on, join me every Wednesday, 7 p.m. I want to hear from you. Now, you can easily write to us, uh, First Centennial, Michigan Baptist Church, 273 High Street. That's in Buffalo, New York, in the heart of one of the greatest communities, the Fruit Belt. 14204. Please write in your questions so that before we come on air, prayerfully we'll have a chance to address them, bring you some scriptures, and even at times we'll bring people on with us who are basically behavioral and mental health uh, clinical uh, personalities, professionals. So it won't be just me talking, but I want to make sure you're whole in your whole mind, soul, and spirit, and let's evolve. Let's blossom. So for the rest of the summer, have a good time, and please come with us. We're going to make sure you walk away 